everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition, of course. Well, here we are again. Uh, I don't know what character I'm going to play as. You know what, let's play as... Let's play as Kane, and I'm going to try to get Guppy's hairball. As many people have pointed out, and I actually looked at the wiki myself, there is maybe not a method towards getting Guppy's hairball, but there is there are things you can do to make it perhaps a little bit more likely. So for example... Uh, if you don't know about Guppy's Hairball, it's basically just a familiar that swings around you. And it is also the last item I need for Platinum God. I think I may also have to beat the game with Eve again, because the time I beat it with Eve, it was actually Blue Baby because of the Ankh. It's a complicated situation. It's well in the past now. But hopefully you guys are privy to that. Uh, but yeah, for Guppy's Hairball, uh, what you want to do is, if possible, you want to hold the left hand trinket. And we are Kane, so we know this pill has to be good. Well, or at least not bad. Um, let's explore before we fight the boss. Uh, yes, because the left hand gives you red chests instead of normal chests. Turquoise chests, cyan chests, aquamarine chests. To be honest with you, I'm not that good with the color spectrum or the names. Just hashtag FFF, FFF over and over. That was pretty terrible damage that I took there. But it has been like four or five days since the last time I played Isaac. So we're going to try to make things happen here. But yeah, so when you get red chests instead of the, the normal chests, uh, red chests are much more likely to contain guppy items, including, of course, guppy's hairball, which is what we're going to be looking for. Although I think it also shows up in treasure rooms. I don't know. It may also show up. The jury seems to be out uh, more often if you are uh, already transformed into a cat, or like the more up guppy items you get, the more likely you are to get guppy items. I don't know. The rich get richer, man. This crazy fucked up world today. You'll be hearing the slang that the Wu-Tang say. Okay, can we just figure this out? Why is my form so off? Against Famine, this should be easy. Although I'm super happy, as you guys can imagine, to be fighting Famine because that single cube of meat is like the most game-changing item I could possibly get. Really gets things started. So yes, I, I think... I know a little bit more about Guppy's Hairball now. I know a slight bit more about how to get it. Or how it is gotten, I should say, maybe to clarify the language a little bit there. Because I haven't necessarily increased my chances of getting it, <laughs> but I have certainly increased my chances of being frustrated when I don't get it. But that happens sometimes. That's not a big problem. I'm still loving Wrath of the Lamb. So let's keep it up. I'm really not looking forward to uh, trying to beat the game as Eve again. Be not just the game, beat the chest as Eve. To clarify, because sometimes it can be a little confusing at this point. Whether I mean the chest, or the game itself. We have beaten Shoal as Samson, which is a question that comes up now and then. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I think I'm only missing two achievements. One of them being... Oh, if I could just get some red heart drops, I would love to go to that self-sacrifice room. Yeah, uh, two achievements. One of them being Platinum God, and the other one, I think, being... I guess, beat the game as Eve? I don't know, it's very confusing. But it's all good. It got even more confusing, because I think achievements were glitched for a while, and now they're not glitched. But the achievements that you got when it was glitched remain glitched. It's it's a very unusual situation. We got more pills here. One of them is going to turn me retarded. The other one, as we exit here. Don't worry, I saw the secret room. I just didn't want to potentially kill myself getting to it. Pretty fly, that's alright. We'll look for the treasure room just because I'm a little bit wary. I don't know where I was going with that. Excellent health upgrade. I was going to say I was a little bit wary of fighting the boss with such little health, but this health upgrade is actually going a long way towards helping that. Don't want to spend too many keys because we're still very early in the game. Golden chests are not guaranteed drops uh, worth more than a key by any stretch of the imagination. We could just get red hearts, but to be honest with you, red hearts might actually be valuable right now. Because I'm trying to go to those spike rooms, uh, the ones with the spikes on the door, more often than usual. Because uh, those have a tendency to drop very good items, including deal with the devil items, which of course includes a lot of guppy items. That could potentially increase our chance of getting guppy's hairball, I don't know. We got Monster Manuel. It's an item I pretty much really dislike, but not a whole lot we can do about that, so that'll give us a familiar for the boss. We will, with four bombs, absolutely check the secret room, and we will probably pop open this chest that is in the next room as well. For now, we got another six cents there. Shop probably not viable at this point, but we'll drop a bomb like right here. Hopefully we get more bombs and keys out of this. Well, more money is fine too. We're up to 12 cents. 
With only one key, I still don't really feel comfortable going for that. So instead, we're just going to go fight regular Larry Jr. here. I'm going to have uh, an attack fly, which is not necessarily terrible. If I can just time the attack fly right, as it has gone so far. We find ourselves in a very good position here. But still, one attack fly, like attack fly in its own right, I don't even think is that good of an item. In fact, I think it's actually kind of a bad item. So to get an, an attack fly for one room, pretty much sucks. But, it made that a lot easier. We'll pick up Cat of Nine Tails, which makes our shot speed faster. Pretty terrible drop so far, I would say, but what does Satan have for us? Rage and the Ouija board, also pretty terrible, I would say. This might be the first time I've ever seen the Cat of Nine Tails visual effect, though. Like, the scratches along his face. Thank you, Mr. May I have another. Okay, Down to the Caves, part one. Really looking for treasure rooms, because that's where our guppy potentiality exists. I suppose. Did you guys hear about the Large Hadron Collider? They just discovered that, you know, to 99.95% accuracy, guppy's potentiality really exists. Oh, cool! Thanks, Troll Engine. Just said... Well, that's an okay drop. Just said that, um... Didn't think Attack Fly was really all that good of an item. Especially not for one room. What do I get in my next treasure room? Attack Fly. But hey, Blue Fly. You know what else creates Blue Flies? Guppy. Which one is... <laughs> Guppy's head. That's the one I was trying to get to. Forgive me, I'm a little bit rusty here. Um... Maybe that'll increase our chances. I know it doesn't. But humor me here. I'm a man living on the edge. You know, when you get Golden God, you're a Golden God. When you get Platinum God, you're a Platinum God. What are you when you're existing between Gold and Platinum God? You're a fucking nobody. That's what you are. So I'm trying to make it happen. Has been like 30 videos trying to find the Platinum God item by this point. Or at least find Guppy's hairball. Then we could beat the game with Eve. I guess we could beat the game with Eve and find Guppy's hairball in the same run if we wanted to. So we have Flat Penny now. I believe that is the one that will give us uh, a chance to get a golden key drop every time we pick up a penny, which is a great item. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in action as soon as possible. Definitely do want to go to the spike room. Or the self-sacrifice room, you could say. But I want to make sure we have some red hearts first. Yeah, you know what, this is probably okay. Maybe the secret room's over there? Doesn't appear to be so. It's cool, two troll bombs. We will leave, and we're almost at shop viability, I would say. We got Gertie first. We got Robo Baby for one room. Not terrible. Not great. Monster Manuel is seriously imbalanced. Like, okay, we could have gotten... If it gave you, if it worked on every room, that would make it a hundred times better. But I guess that would conflict with uh, Robo Baby or uh, Rainbow Baby at this point. But like, as is, it's like once every th four rooms you get one familiar. That's like effectively earning a quarter of a familiar. Sometimes you might even get bad familiars, like Attack Fly. I don't. Uh, we can handle that nub later. We can handle this nub right now. This nub meaning Gertie, obviously. Still not taking too much damage. My dodging is surprisingly good considering how rusty I should be right now. You know, you fall out of the game for a couple of days when you're playing at this unbelievably elite level. Anything could happen. Now we're gonna continue exploring here. Still haven't had a chance to use Flat Penny. I would love to get a penny though. It would take us to 15 cents and possibly give us a golden key, which we could use to open the shop and completely turn our fortunes around. I kind of want to open that, but I definitely don't want to waste that many bombs. I ah, yell. Yeah, I'll go for this one for sure. And we'll see. Oh, it just gives us regular keys. Well, that's fine too. I would say certainly the shop is a viability now. That was a very nice series of luck on our part. Book of Revelations. Yes. Good item. Even if you don't like Book of Revelations, you probably agree with me that it beats Monster Man well. We'll buy a key for five cents, which is probably a terrible decision because we like if we picked up five cents on the ground we're probably gonna get like seven keys out of it that is clearly impossible but you know you're with me this guy knows what I'm talking about I just like having keys opening golden chests getting the chance to fly getting potential HP upgrades they're all okay in my books and of course now we're opening up like every chest we come across because pennies potentially mean keys so even if we don't get a key drop normally 
we have a pretty solid chance to get a key drop kind of secondarily. Then we're going to fight Envy here, which is pretty much the bane of my existence. So we can just get this dude to back the fuck off. Oh, that things almost went poorly there. It would be cool if Attack Fly actually functioned like one of the uh, the flies from like Guppy's head. Only one, that's all I ask, but it honed every room. And it came back every room. Although I guess that would make it three times worse than Guppy's head. I don't know, but it is al already probably like six times worse than Guppy's head. Except for the fact that you don't have to have a spacebar item for it. Which I guess could make it more valuable. I don't know. These items are never going to re be rebalanced. But there are some that would definitely... Um, we're going to stick with Flat Penny. There are some that would definitely, uh, you know, benefit, shall we say, from a rebalancing, I think. With two bombs, looking for the secret room is kind of maybe not the best idea, but I have a feeling it has to be here. That was indeed correct. We've got a slot machine. Let's play it. We're already here. If it drops pennies, that's key chances. See? Ah, there you go. So we did. We traded one cent for one key. Not so bad. I can live with that. And then we will just move on. I don't know why we're holding on to this one cent. Does it really matter? I guess not. So we'll head down to the next floor. Not looking so hot on an overarching run. I guess I'm just going to unlock the shop by accident. So cool. Yeah, that went well. Um, not looking so well on an overarching run perspective. Like, I don't think I have much chance of beating the chests or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, all we need for this run to be a success is one incredibly lucky draw from the treasure room. So... That's the first damage I've taken in a long time, actually. So I'm not sweating it. Well, the first damage that wasn't from a self-sacrifice room. And that's the second damage we've taken in a very short time. So let's just chill out a little bit. And try not to get hit against greed by problems, man. Not very much health. Book of Revelations is cool, but it charges so slowly. Uh, and, of course, kind of a principal problem right now. Absolutely no damage. Just pretty much rolling with the base damage here. Which is not doing a lot to help me not take damage. There we go. So, uh, I guess we're gonna try to get extra damage, but there's really nothing we can do to, <laughs> to make that happen. There's one full heart gone already, but we did get a key out of it. At this point, I would rather get pennies than keys, because with the steam sail from Greed... Just pop open. Yes, excellent. I didn't have to waste a bomb to get to that spirit heart. Uh, yeah, pennies, uh, at this point, with the steam sale, every penny is worth a little bit more, I would say. Because we can go to the shop. We don't need 15 cents to go to the shop, and in order to be 100% sure that we can afford the space bar item, or the, the premier item in there. It's not always a space bar item. That was bad damage right there. No question about that. But Book of Revelations will charge here. Uh, and of course, on the pennies, we have a chance to get a key anyway, so... The more the merrier when it comes to those, I would say. Bomb's also very important. Brother Bobby. Interesting little track of familiars we've got going on right now, but still not. I mean, there there have been runs where I've gotten strong enough to win through just having a ton of familiars. There are rarities, and I don't like to rely on that. But I mean, it's it's certainly not outside of the realm of possibility. I could also have like a John Travolta esque seizure from Phenomenon and like end up becoming the greatest Isaac player in the world over the last 20 minutes of this run? That's probably unlikely, though. I wouldn't bet on me having a John Travolta in Phenomenon-esque seizure. That is a bad movie, too. Can we just finish this room so I can stop thinking about Phenomenon? My brain's on one track right now. Another pretty fly, that's good. We got full defense from um, two pretty flies and the cubes of meat as well. No, oh, that was bad. Get out of there. Uh, no keys from those two pennies. That is frustrating, but I guess we already have enough. But I don't really need to sweat it. I would love to get some more pennies, though, so I can go to the shop. Well, I already went to the shop. It was greed. Shop on the next floor, if nothing else. Maybe pick up a battery. Maybe pick up a nun's habit. Maybe pick up a... What else could I possibly want? Um... Mom's purse, so I could hold a trinket as well as the Polaroid. Although, like, beating the chest is not my goal here. My only goal... Oh, we got a key anyway. My only goal is is getting Guppy's hairball. Or I should be playing as Eve right now, but I really... 
I know people out there are probably like, why don't you double your chances? Play as Eve while trying to get Guppy's hairball. The reason for that is because I don't hate myself. I hate Eve. <laughs> Every run with her is like hot knives poking into my back. Not the quick good part of your back, like some kind of acupuncture or something like that, but the bad part, like a like your spine and a cleaver. Uh, well, it's gonna take damage here. Wow, somehow managed to get out of that one, and also somehow managed to pick up my third penny in a row without getting a key drop. But again, hard to complain when I already have six. We're probably not gonna need that many moving forwards. Well, I mean, maybe by the end of the game, yes, because we need four just to get through all the good items in the chest. Potentially good items, I suppose I should say. But... I think we're okay for keys as of right now. Not really making a big stock with Book of Revelations either. Like if this, if I was to rank this stock on a scale from like vegetable to to beef, I would say this ranks about a a store-bought chicken. Not a homemade chicken, a store-bought chicken. This is of course no keys really. Assuming your your homemade stocks are, are better than your store-bought stocks, which is maybe a a leap of faith too large for some people to make. Now I'm here talking about stocks. How's it going? I don't really invest too much in the stock market. I'm more of just like a farmer's market kind of guy. It sounds like the worst Jay-Z lyric of all time. Or the, or the it sounds like the opposite of a Jay-Z lyric. So Jay-Z, if you're watching this, I don't go to the farmer's market. I go to the stock market. That's pretty good. We'll move forward here. So, I, like, not just forwards in the game, but also forwards in my mind and the commentary so I can put that terrible thing behind us. I could go to the spike room. I really want to go to the spike self-sacrifice room. It's a bad business decision at this point because I'm going to lose a spirit heart for it and that sucks. Uh, but I still want to go to it because I'm not... I'm looking for Guppy's hairball. I'm looking for red or left hand. There we go. Let's go for nine lives. Let's get crazy. Let's get real fucked up. I want to. I want this run to get dark. Okay, we're fighting this dude, whose name I always skip over and then complain about skipping over. But he is not so bad. Actually, probably one of the easiest bosses we could be facing in the game at this point, except for the fact that he's a little bit faster than he used to be in this red champion format. But I think as long as we just. Oh god, as long as we try to, you know, keep our keep our distance a la a peep or something so we can dodge these shots as they come in. We should be okay. He's kind of like Loki combined with Duke of Flies, which is not a favorable comparison if you are a boss. So we'll just kill these red laser bullet flies. It would help if I stopped shooting at the rock, probably. Okay, we got speed upgrade. Really terrible item drops. I don't even... Krampus? I wanted Krampus. Brimstone? Let's do it! Yeah, okay. That's Lord of the Pit, not Brimstone. I shouldn't be making that mistake at this point in my life. Uh, and I definitely did not want to get the... I am so fucking fast now. What happened? I guess I got the speed upgrade. Does Lord of the Pit make you just travel like a hundred times faster? I didn't feel so bad about taking that deal with the devil, considering even if I die, I just got Lord of the Pit for one-eighth of my lives. I mean, we still need to find a way to replenish our health a lot faster than this, because otherwise I stand pretty much no chance. Moving on. But, I kind of already felt like I stood pretty much no chance moving on. So this is alright. I mean, we're not making a horrible time at this point. We're like 18 minutes, Necropolis. It's not awful, it's not great. But, um, considering our damage, it's actually pretty okay. Fire rate up is nothing to sneeze at. Now we got crazy tears, even though it's a problem with Kane. Well, oh, oh, there we go. The problem with Kane is when you have like a, a tears... Or, you have Kane... <laughs> Give me a second here. A building fired by... No, um... When you have Kane but you don't get that many pills, then you're kind of just like, what's the point? And that's how I feel right now, which is like, why didn't I just take Isaac or something so I could reroll all of these shitty items that we've gotten so far? And maybe our lives would have been easier right now. But hey, free keys. I did lose one ninth of my lives. Down to eight, but that's okay. Got a spirit art to carry me through because of Book of Revelations. That was convenient timing, otherwise I could have found myself in like a an endless spiral of just like a cycle is more of a, an accurate term. 
Just like constantly dying. Oh, if I beat this room, I get Book of Revelations. Oh, if I beat this room, I get Book of Revelations. Not doing so well, though. I mean, the fire rate up is nice. I played it, but... I'm kind of struggling here. Overall. Bad items, man. We got two health upgrades. Yes, that's something. No damage upgrades. That sucks. No tears upgrades except for fire rate up, which is actually... Odd Mushroom's a great item. Attack fly, brother Bobby, cube of meat, pretty flies from pills. It's a, it's something, but it's it's not enough. And we definitely can go to the shop here, having, as I have said a few times now, the steam sale. In case you were not watching during that greed fight where I basically got butt fucked. Well, we have one left. Live bomb, excellent. Just what I needed right now. Compass, yeah, absolutely. Red heart, I would love to, but I can't. But the compass is a nice choice, I think. Hard to hard to, to justify not buying the compass, I think, if you find it in the shop. Especially on the cheap. What would I be thinking? So keep moving on here. This room, uh, you know, has some potential to be annoying, but because of the, sp the flying from Lord of the Pit, I don't have to sweat the spikes so much, which means I don't have to sweat the enemies so much. Because I can just dodge into the corners when I have to. We can go to our mob trap room. Sure, why not? Seriously, did Flat Penny just give up or something? Or have I just not picked up many pennies? That was a horrible way to take damage there. Horribly unlucky, really. Just had the fetus spawn right next to you. But <laughs> again. But also horrible reaction time. I can't pretend that that didn't have anything to do with it. I hate being this low, because you know that, like, next thing you know, the shorty could be there right with you, but... You know, um... Like, one, there's several enemies that can just kill you in one hit. Not just the obvious ones, like the ones that throw bombs sometimes. Uh, but, like, almost any champion, I think, at least at this stage of the game, could do it. Uh, beyond that, also... The, like, eyeless ooze guys, I think, do one heart when they hit you, even if we're not on the womb. So there's some, there's some risky stuff going on here. Risky business. Tom Cruise. It's a great film. You've seen it? Me neither. Okay, that was close. Thank you to the pretty fly for probably saving me at least a half heart there. Yeah, I guess Flat Penny just decided, you know, this job wasn't for him. Wish he told me that before I, I picked him up and wasted, like, a whole item on him, or I guess it's just a trinket. Could have had Isaac's head right now. Just get in the corner. Get in the corner, shoot the spiders. Oh god. There's no out here. There's no end game. Okay. Well, we made it, sort of. Two of clubs, doubles are whatever's. Bombs. Or, yes, which is fine. That's actually possibly preferable at this point. Oh, look who decided to not call in sick today. Flat Penny, good to have you back, man. Your to-do list is like 30 pennies long at this point. It's okay, I can wait. So we'll just back up a little bit, take out the conga lines, some of the more annoying enemies in the game. Just because of the way they move. I didn't intend for this to actually be the way to get to the, the boss, but I think it is. I was thinking we would actually go the other way and then go back, do a little backtracking to get to the boss, but I guess we'll just fight the boss. There's probably like one more room on that floor, which doesn't worry me too, too much. Probably not missing anything substantial. We've already been to the treasure room in the shop. Boss room is over here. What could we possibly be missing? So if I play my cards right, I should be able to avoid damage pretty nicely here. Only thing I have to worry about is the hearts shooting bullets. And I think this will be fine. And maybe we'll get a good item from this boss. <laughs> No chance. Um, we'll just take... Oh, perfect! Thanks for the telepills! Did a lot to help me out there. Might as well look for the secret room while we're backtracking a little bit. That wasn't it. Might as well stop looking for the secret room and make up a convenient excuse like, Oh, I think we'll need 17 bombs to beat Mom's heart because our damage is so low. Did it work? Uh, I think I might have convinced some of you. But actually, we might need our bosses for or our bombs for these boss fights. Oh, awesome conquest! Yeah, this should be good. Um, right, right around now is the time when I'm thinking like, oh, this run might just end right here. 
because we're gonna have a very difficult time defeating this boss. And I'm definitely not picking up White Pony. I hate when this happens. You, you use Book of Revelations, you expect to fight war. Instead, you, you have probably like a, a random chance or a set chance. Oh my god. To get Conquest. You get Conquest and then you die. This Conquest is much harder. It's like running into Krampus. In fact, it kind of looks like Krampus. I wonder if they got a they got a situation going on. Not like a fucking situation. I just meant like a some kind of business arrangement. You sick bastards. Um, I'm gonna try to fire some bombs in here because I think it's like my only chance of success. So far, so good. All right, see you later, conquest. That's fine. No, that's not good. Seem to be like actually standing a chance here, which is surprising. I don't want to get too close, even though I want desperately for attack fly to do some damage. He, oh god, that was close. He keeps moving out of the way. Oh, that was totally my bad. Oh man, we are gonna have a rough time here. Well, let's try it. I mean, I was hoping that there was a chance for it to be war there. Of course, no such luck. Okay, attack fly. Now's your yeah. That was about two percent of his total health. Nicely done. Similarly, uh, basically no damage done there. Although somehow he took damage when he fired the rays from heaven. I didn't know that was a possibility. There we go. We've gotten him a little bit lower now. I just stand still when the rays come because I think I have a tendency to move into them, which is of course probably not for the best. Attack fly is not really primed for anything right now. That's oh come on. The rays do one damage. Oh, this is bad. We're down to six. What I'm gonna do is try to backtrack. Maybe we can find something useful in that left side over there. I doubt it. I think we're pretty much just on a, a bridge to nowhere here, but you know, play our cards right. Maybe we could be on a bridge to somewhere. A, a bridge it could be over the River Kwai, it could go to Terabithia, there's a lot of possible options for bridging. Uh, it could become a card game, or uh, if you mixed it, perhaps a snack that you play while you're playing said card game. In a bridge mix, I tried. Uh, if we floated it, it could be an MC Frontalot song, there's lots of, lots of possibilities here, but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna be on a bridge to nowhere. But we might get a Book of Revelations charge, and that might be enough. We're not going to get a Book of Revelations charge, and it's not going to be enough. We could get a Blood Bag here, it's a fucking long shot. Told you. Well, thanks for the key. And we're back to full health. That's good, I guess we'll look for the secret room now. Kind of want to fight a mini-boss. Because if we fight a mini-boss, we'll get a Book of Revelations charge if we win. Instead, just lots and lots of delicious money. And we have no way to replenish our extra health, or uh, like replenish the charge on our, our Book of Revelations, which is awful. And I don't really know what to do about that, so... Uh, let's blow this up. Pick up more pennies. Could have played the Blood Bank a little bit more, but that's one of those things that is so minor that I don't think it possibly could have affected it this much. The good news is if we win, we do get a Book of Revelations charge. One whole spirit heart. Nope. Oh, okay. That was good. Uh, let's just keep this up. Pretty much despondent at this point, thinking I'm on a one-way ticket to my own failure. Which is always a nice place to be. So we're just gonna, I'm, I'm focusing a little bit here, because I want to make sure that whenever possible, my attack fly is getting his, his shots in. And I can almost just, like, run... I can almost just like maneuver, run is not the right word, but maneuver in such a way that the attack fly is like my main source of of damage. But that should tell you how sad our situation is right now as a character. When my plan for killing a boss is just strategic use of the attack fly. Not that strategic use of the attack fly is a bad thing, but when that's the only thing you got going for you, you got some problems. Also, I really, really hate how often this guy just disappears. Pretty dickish. Okay, we're good, we're good. He's about halfway. And we've almost got him into like a weird Monstro-type pattern here. Monstro 2, I should say. 
At least it has appeared so for a while. Now things might get a little trickier again. That was a very, very lucky dodge. <laughs> Let's do it again. There we go. Still t ticking here somehow. And... <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I got, he pinned me in. For all of our troubles there, we got him down about 60%. Oh, Lord. Four left to go. Oh, my God. Okay, we gotta use some bombs against this guy. It's our only. Oh, god damn it! It's our only hope. Help me, holy water, Kenobi. You're my only hope. This is a terrible first run back from vacation. Oh my god! Stop moving. You are the worst. Wow. I guess charging headfirst into him doesn't do it. All right, three to go. I was thinking maybe. You know, <laughs> you know, we could catch him with that bomb. Look at how much damage I do per shot. Wait till he comes back. It's gonna be hard to parse because of how quickly I shoot. But oh my god, oh, be here for a thousand years, whether we win or lose. We find. Oh my god, we hit him with a bomb, and it did as much as like two minutes of sustained firing. We we might stand a chance. Remarkably, I still haven't even been hit. Okay, we got him down about halfway. We've also got our bombs down about halfway. If we get hit by a single ray of heaven, we'll just die. Oh, come on. Cut me some goddamn slack here. Luck foot my ass. No, seriously, can you luck foot my ass? I will pay you so much money. What can I say? I got a thing for luck feet. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, that was, oh there we go, okay. Gave it the old college try there. We got one bomb left and two lives left. Uh, I can't see how this could possibly go bad. Blow myself up with a bomb, I guess. And our final life with one heart. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Still trying to get Guppy's hairball. Just kind of putting myself out there. Wait, are you... Can we please... Okay. So far, so good, right? Yeah. Haven't been hit yet. If we continue on this pace, I'll have him defeated... Uh, you know, roughly the year 2117. That's gonna be cool. Looking forward to that. Be almost 30. That'll be nice. Feel secure in my in my life. Beautiful house in Venezuela, Caracas, to be specific. I'm just joking. I, I have no particular affinity for Caracas. It could be Montevideo, Uruguay. Could be. Um, I'm seriously running out of um, South American capitals here. Can we, okay, um, Sao Paulo, oh no, it's Brasilia, my bad. I'm, my brain's just fried, like there's no chance for me to pull this one back. Although, I think if I talk about just random shit, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, but I think if I talk about random shit, I just get in the zone. As always, thank you guys for watching. That was probably the worst run of the Binding of Isaac I've had in a long time. But the post-Isaac stretch never leaves, and neither do I. So I will see you guys next time with yet another episode. Thanks for watching.